you must keep practicing right. you just have to practice harder and harder every day i have received an offer for the role of st intern from amazon india and which got later converted into a full time offer Hi and welcome back to Coding Ninjas guys. I am Kabir Singh and I am here with another spectacular interview experience for you guys. So today we have Prajul with us and he is going to tell us about Amazon interview experience. Now this interview experience is a little different from others because he had his on campus placement and he had a very few rounds as compared to other people giving off campus placements. So let's understand what his interview experience was. How did he crack each interview and we we'll try briefing out every interview out for you as well. So let's talk to him and understand how it went. Uh, hi Prajwal, how are you doing? Hi Kabir, I'm good. So hello guys, good evening. I am Prajwal Sharma. I'm currently pursuing VTech in Electrical Engineering from MNIT Laval. And I'm currently in my final year of undergraduation. I have received an offer for the role of SD intern from Amazon India. And which got later converted into a full-time offer. That's great. So That's great. I belong to a middle class background. So I was having a interest towards coding. Mm-hmm. I started my preparation for software internships from the beginning of my fourth semester. And uh, yeah, I was in a slightly inclined more towards the data structures and algorithm part, but I also had some knowledge about computer programming. That's great. That's great. Coming on to the interview experience, Rajwal, can you tell me how many rounds were there when you sat for the interview at Amazon? All right. So there were two rounds for Amazon. The first round was the coding round, and there was an interview. Okay. And uh, as compared to others, uh, I guess this is a very few number because generally there are four or five rounds for that. So that's great. So can you brief us out what happened in the first round actually? Right. So for the first round, the company allowed only students from four branches, that is CS, IT, EC and EE. Okay. And the students should have maintained a minimum of five pointer with okay. no active backlogs. Okay. After that round, there was the first round, which was MCQ round plus coding round. Mm-hmm. In that round, there were then multiple choice mental ability questions. There were yeah. seven debugging questions and uh, two questions along with some questions which were based on Amazon's leadership principles. Okay. So in the debugging questions, they have to find the line of code which was giving the error. For example, okay. there might be a question of segmentation fault, infinite mm-hmm. loop, or a missing semicolon. Right. We have to answer that. Okay. And in the mental ability part. There were 10 questions. So the Mm -hmm. questions were based on the topics like distance and time, direction sense, calendars, etc. For the coding round, both of my questions were graphs. And Mm -hmm. everyone in my college was getting a different set of questions. Oh, that's great. The questions range from medium to hard for me. But everybody got a different set though. There might right. be a possibility that there might someone be some might lucky people who got easy questions. questions as well. That's great. That's great. So medium to hard for you, but you were able to solve them at the end of the day. That's a great thing out there as well. Yeah, could solve a question completely, and another question was partially solved. Right? Okay, that's great. Moving on to the second round, Prajwal, what actually happened over there? Okay, the second round was an interview round. After combining the scores of all the questions like debugging, multiple choice and I guess there is a high weightage to the leadership principles also. Okay. So I think my answers aligned along with the leadership principles. So I was called for the further round. Okay. So in the second round, this was an interview round. This was roughly around 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. And in this round, I was given two questions. Okay. And the interviewer also wrote the questions. He also expected the time complexity from them. And after explaining the question, he asked the interviewee to just write a simple test case for that. Okay. And how difficult do you think it was for you? In this round, I got both of the questions from recursion and backtracking. We can also say recursion, backtracking and DFS. Okay. I think it was between easy to medium. Easy to medium, easy to medium. Okay. Yeah. And were you able to solve both the questions properly, completely? I was stuck in one of the questions, but uh, the interviewer helped me. Mm-hmm. So he guided me and I took some hints from him. So okay. I could solve both of the questions. 
That's great. That's great. Now, finally, concluding this interview experience with another question for you is that what piece of advice would you like to give our juniors and the viewers watching this interview experience to you know actually follow and do so that they can get a good placement like you and they can crack good fan companies or fan companies or all of these uh, good product based companies out there. I think uh, one piece of advice that everyone should follow is that you must keep practicing. Right. You just have to practice harder and harder every day. Second point I would like to highlight is that you should have a good knowledge of each and every concept in detail. Okay. Uh, there should be no partial knowledge to blunder in an interview. And the third right. point I would like to say is that you can ask questions from the interview if the question is not clear to you. So mm-hmm. the interviewer can help you in understanding that. Don't feel shy right. at that moment. Correct. That's great. That's great. I really thank you, Rajul, for giving us this awesome interview experience out there. Also, guys, if you want to read this article out, Rajul has actually written an article on this as well for our website. I'll mention the link in the description below. You can always go and have a look at it and, you know, also solve the problems that were asked in this interview. And I hope you like the article as well as this video. So hit the like button and the subscribe button. I'm going to see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Happy coding, guys. Oh,